pretty sure smoking's not allowed in school. Should you really be doing that here? Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Could you, uh, keep this between us? I can. But in exchange, I'm gonna need this area clear. Yeah, sure, no problem. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Kaito-san, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I could think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably passed by without a second glance. Hey Kaito-san, don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom 2-2. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Let's hit it. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Whoa... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. And nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, ma'am. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who, may I ask, called you here?
So, this is how it's gonna be, huh? Is this how you treat people who work for you? I... I beg your pardon? You call us here, put us to work. Then you give us the third degree? Not our fault you weren't notified by your own school. Isn't it the teacher's responsibility to keep track of scheduled maintenance? But hey, what do I know? We'll just pack up and go. Uh, now, just a minute. I've been in this business a long time, and not once have I been insulted like this. We could have been in and out of here in under a minute, but whatever, you're a problem now. And you better believe we'll be reporting this little exchange to your boss. Uh, really, there's no need to go that far. You'll be done in under a minute? 40 seconds, if you like. Well, if it really is that quick, fine. Then let's just take care of it. That's 40 seconds for the young here, but I can get it done in 35. Right, of course. Please continue as you were. And I apologize for grilling you like that. <sighs> Consider it water under the bridge. Why ruin our budding relationship over a little misunderstanding? <sighs> I suppose. Come on, Teach. No need to be so down. You know what they say. Nothing ruins a pretty face faster than a frown. What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. The hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. What, so that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. Back to work. I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good. So did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium, then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. <sighs> Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Them again. Now they're picking on a girl. Did you see that? Oh, no, no, they're 
They're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, Tuck! Let's go kick the shit out of those punks. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Kids think this doesn't involve you? Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. Saw on camera. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Suspicious. Paging Yagamishi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way.
Please come in. Huh? You're that teacher. Sawa Sensei, wasn't it? To what do we owe the pleasure? All of these men are detectives? Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yagami-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well, then. I've explained the situation to Sawa-sensei, our homeroom teacher for Class 2-2. Why don't you both have a seat? I knew something was wrong, but I could never put my finger on what. The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? Yes. She's in the basketball club. And so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa-sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Koda-san hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Mm, true. The school can't just come out and say, we've been recording your kids without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. <gasps> You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend to cover this up, let me just begin by saying- No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Koda-san could be. What if there's a chance? What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? Um, pardon me for saying so, but bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. Not to family, friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kota-san. Oh, come on, Tak. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just gonna watch him sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? My name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying, like it's that easy. Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? you think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? Then by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope, she's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. So what's this big secret you're talking about? Kodasan. She needs to be the one taking initiative to break out of her situation. 
Were you even listening? The chairman just said it takes tremendous courage for a victim to speak up. So what? You're saying we should sit on our asses and watch this kid get pushed around more? Then what did we come all the way out from Kamurocho for? Uh, maybe that wasn't the right way of putting it. Let me rephrase. It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah, there's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Guess we're not so different from high schoolers. Then we should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. And that would only bring more pain to Kodosan. Tell me, what is your suggestion, Yagami-san? What I'm getting at is that it's the silence of all her classmates that's empowering these bullies. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. Yeah, no shit. So if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm, I can see how you arrived there. Alright, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the spark that lights a fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini-speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman, I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Do you remember what I told you about the student who committed suicide? That affected Sawa-sensei profoundly. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it, whatever the cause may have been. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? All right, I'll check it out on the way.
How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. Uh, uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perv finally notices, he goes back to fix it and BAM! Caught in the act! I get it, Amasawa. Just stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us! Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed. Let's catch him already! Stop! Hey! Wait! <gasps> Are you safe, Yagamishi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? Yagamishi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Great. Just what I needed. Looks like you've made it to the rooftop. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. From here, use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. Right. I'll try not to die. It looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think you can make it out of there? <sighs> I'll have to somehow. But before that, I'm gonna need to set up these speakers. What? Even after all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. You know very well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> but for the glory of Yokohama 99, 
I will not let you down, Yagamishi. Let's get this mission started. All right, let's go. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo. Happening. And this was the shortest route to Class 2 2. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check out the rooftop. Aha. Uh -huh. Hell, another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for it and let it fly. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> oh, damn. It worked like a charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagamishi, that only works once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. Tsukumo, can you hear me? If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up back at the scene from earlier, right? The landing where you were accused of being a pervert? Yes, that's correct. You have any idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there. 
But I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. Okay, I'm in class 2-2. Two -two. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Tsukumo, could you say something through the speakers? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Huh? Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. I see you got security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. Didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Could have sworn I saw you earlier on lunch. Now, where have I seen that face? Oh, you're the guy from yesterday. The guy who stole my fucking phone. I'd say it's time for some payback. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. 
We've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Look, who the fuck are you and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? You hear the swipes in girls' chin clothes or something? <clears throat> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty-ass pervert. Sick! I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Whoa. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Get him! What? Holy shit! Just your average creeper. Yagamichi, you can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, can't have that. <laughs> Only one way out there. Come on, bring it! Gone easier on them? Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. The three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I <sighs> got it. Come 
and stay down. <laughs> oh, man. You almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah. If everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Yo, so are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on, Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. 
We told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Ah, oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> y yeah. You know what, guys? It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda-san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch, go choke on a chopstick. Oh, how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah. Toss them out. <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? Hey, Boxy. Fuck this. Yeah. Let's just go. Fuck it. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there, though. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But, here's hoping it's at least a good first step. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. 
Then if you'll excuse me. Oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. <laughs> Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I have to take this. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, Sarisan, uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacha right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son? You there? Serio High? Somewhere near Ijincho? Is that the school? Hmm? Huh? Have you heard of it? A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Saverio High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Huh? The body was badly decomposed, but Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead, before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ahara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. <laughs>